Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use like the 4i loop. Not the 4i V in pairs type of loop. It's like a repeat loop. Like, it repeats as many times as you want a specific order. So let's get started. Server script service. I'm going to hit the plus. I'm going to insert a script. I'm just going to name this. Do stuff. And the first line I'm going to do is game no player to player add a connect function player. I just do that just because I want this to happen when the player joins so I can demonstrate the script better. So this is what the script looks like for i equals 128 do. So this is how so this is how the script works pretty much. For i equals has starting amount hashtag max max repeat amount do and script so this is how much you want to start out i think or i actually i haven't messed around with that much so i guess we could do that in this video but this is how many times you want it to repeat so if i were to just do this will repeat multiple times and i put this in here yeah i'm still a bit sick Let's do 15 and let's try this one out. Just quickly let load up. As you can see, this printed 15x times, as you can see there in the output. And then if we just change it to like 35, and as you can see, it'll print it out 35 times. <coughs> Now let's see if I change this to 30 to 30 if it'll print out 20 times. I mean 5 times. 6 times actually. It printed out 6 times. So I guess yeah this is pretty much the starting amount. So if I do 34 <coughs> then it should print out 2 times. Yep. That's pretty much the starting amount that it'll print out. So I suggest you keep this at one, I guess, might be better. I'm not sure, but that's completely up to you. So yeah, starting amount, max repeat amount, and then it'll print out whatever script you have in here. So you can pretty much set this to as many times. This can be useful for stuff like this, like, um, let's say, wait, one local counter equals one counter dot value or counter plus equals one i don't think you have to do that value for variable counter plus one print it has been counter seconds and then you can just do counter minus 35 no 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 35 minus counter seconds left to go I guess you could do something like this you just press play 2 seconds 3 seconds 4 seconds and then it's just gonna keep going this is weird to watch. Then yeah, as you can see, it keeps increasing. This could be good for like a um, it's called a lobby. Like let's say um, you could make you could have like your text label at the top of your screen. It'll be like match starting. Let's insert a script. Go time to wait equals one. Yeah. Um, script up parent uh, parent dot text equals and I'm just gonna do for i equals one and let's say 25 seconds do script up parent dot text equals um. Time to wait 
seconds has passed. T um, 20, t 25 minus time to wait. Second remaining for the round to start. Has passed since the time has started, I guess. I'm not sure whatever you would, whatever you would put for a game like this. I don't make games like these. Um, well, that's not repeating, but the print is for I equals 10. I'm like, can I just copy this? Put some there. Actually, I'm not going to. Oh, yeah. Forgot to increase the time to wait value. Hang on. Completely forgot about that, yeah. As you can see in here, I did 4i equals counter plus equals 1. Yeah, yes, you can add on to like variable values with plus equals. This is literally just like the same thing as doing. It's the same thing as this, except smaller. Yeah. And then continuations are two dots if you want to add a variable. And if you want to just convert this to a string, just do two string counter. This won't really change too much in this scenario, but in other scenarios it would change it a lot. But I'll explain two string, two number, two bull. If that's in here, no, that's in Python. Two number, pretty much everything that is in two, two string and two numbers, and like how it can actually be useful. So yeah, I'll, we'll do that in a different video. So let's quickly test this out. I'm just going to make this bigger. And I've got to add my UI corner. UI corner is literally just a roundify plugin, except I would say better. One second has passed. As you can see, it's changing. I mean, you could just do this without the first part of the text. So, just do this. Except it'll go into negative eventually. Not starting. And there you made yourself like a little countdown. So, you can make like your little round starting thing. 10 seconds remaining for the round to start but yeah that's pretty much what you can use the um thing for also my output is being spammed like crazy but yeah that's pretty much what you could use this for you can use this for many other things but it pretty much it's just a repeat so it'll just repeat as many times as you want from the starting value to the maximum value so hopefully this video helped you and hopefully you enjoyed and yeah see you